Disney Plus has been available in South Africa for over a year now and Hisense owners have yet to receive the app for the Hotstar version of Disney's streaming service. While the company is working hard to get the app developed as soon as possible, there is a workaround to get Disney Plus working on Hisense Vida in South Africa and other Hotstar regions. If you already have Disney Plus on your Hisense Vida TV, then you're good to go. This means you live in a region where your Disney Plus doesn't rely on the Hotstar platform, which has been under criticism since its launch for its poor video quality and lack of streaming codecs. If you already have Disney Plus on your Vida TV, you can also rest assured knowing that you have the better of the two apps. But if you're a player like us South Africans who have to put up with the Hotstar app and want to watch it in all its horrible glory on your Hisense TV, here's a guide how to do it without even downloading any app. The workaround comes in no other form than using the web browser. All you need to do is launch the web browser on your Hisense Vita TV and head on over to the Disney Plus website. The website will then ask you to log into your account. If you have used the web browser to watch Disney Plus in the past, the experience is no different here. You'll log in using your phone number and it will load the web-based version of the app. The experience is pretty much the same from this point. You can launch your content, watch whatever you want, and even leave a stream to start something else. The only downside to this is getting used to the mouse cursor to navigate around the app, but you can also use the buttons on the controller to scroll up and down the page and sort through your content. Unfortunately, this is the web-based version of Disney+, Plus, so it also comes with the same codec limitations as you would encounter on a desktop PC or notebook. This means your streams won't go above 1080p and there's no HDR support for content either. But given that most Disney Plus platforms across other smart TVs and devices don't support HDR or 4K, you're not missing out on much here. There's also no surround sound either, but again, Disney Plus barely has surround sound on its app in the first place. Of course, I'm talking about the Hotstar version here, not the fancy American version. From my experience of using this alternative method, it runs smoothly most of the time. There were times when everything would hang up and clicking on a show would lag out of it, but once I started watching something, it was pretty smooth. Even fast forwarding and skipping episodes while the content was playing was easy enough. I did find most of the slow menu lag to be present only on the home page when icons are moving and thumbnails are playing trailers. Clearly this page requires a lot of RAM and resources. You'll get a better experience depending on how powerful your Hisense TV is. Until Hisense manages to release its own Disney Plus app, this web-based version should help those who feel like they're missing out. I have mentioned in the past there are workarounds to using Vida 2. You can pick up a cheap Google TV device and get all the apps for example, but that's a last resort. Vida is a pretty great operating system and I don't think you should abandon it just for Disney Plus. So I hope this video does help you guys out. Please let me know your experience in the comments down below. Be sure to also like and subscribe for more future content. And visit www.glitch.online for more gaming tech news and reviews. Until next time, farewell.